Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance, including candles, and today I have a review of Lafco New York's Fresh Cut Gardenia Candle, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. You're in the right place if you love content about home fragrance and just how to make life smell great. And one of the ways that you can make life smell great is by getting this Lafco New York Fresh Cut Gardenia Candle. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So, let me bring the box up to you. I've been working on uh, my, my camera skills here, so hopefully it'll focus and I'll get it in uh, the right spot. Um, so, handsome, handsome uh, packaging. So, Lafco New York has this label, Fresh Cut Gardenia. It's got sort of this um, mindset of garden with uh, the light green um, label here uh, or the band across the label. I think these boxes look like little tuxedos. So as you move to the side, it's got branding here. It talks a little bit about the candle and talks about um, their pure promise. And so by that they mean that they're going to give um, fragrance from essential oils and it's um, a solid soy wax and 100% cotton wicks. Another side here and then on top the uh, satin ribbon just continues all the way around little tuxedo and then on the bottom some warnings it says that it's poured in the United States this was a 6.5 ounce uh, candle and it offers about 50 hours of burn time the box is neat because it has this foam insert that will keep the candle safe uh, in transportation and makes it uh, really ready for gift giving. And the top of the candle box has a foam pad to help keep the um, glass uh, tumbler in there safe. It smells great from having the candle in there. And speaking of the candle, hopefully I didn't make you dizzy with um, uh, the zoom in and out, but it is a, a light green um, glass tumbler here. It is a piece of art glass that's hand blown. Um, the glass is hard to see in the uh, lights that I have here, but it's sort of a mottled colored uh, look, almost like um, tortoise shell um, colorations in, in the glass, but of course it's green. And then the colored glass has a nice covering of it over it with uh, uh, clear glass, and you can see the clear glass creates a foot on on the votive here so turning it over it's a one wick candle didn't make a lot of soot on the um, sides of the jar you can see the candle uh, pulled out nicely of course you know soy wax candles have a tendency to do this they have a little bit of residue here on the side what I've experienced with these Lafco candles is that as the candle burns down the wax tends to also melt down and pull down so in a you know maybe the next burn it will um, fully pull out and melt off the sides of the jar. Um, really great candle for a vanity in your powder room or in a bathroom, putting on the inside table or a bedside table. It will um, work well here in the kitchen too. So it really can be just a multi-purpose all around. Now, Lafco makes a suggestion on their candles the Duchess Peony that I've previously reviewed, and I'll put a link to it below, uh, said powder room, and this one says living room. So they say, you know, help to create sort of like a fragrance scape in your home. Put the Duchess Peony in your bathroom, put this one in your living room, and they have other fragrances for other rooms of your house. Of course, that's just a starting point. You're free to put the candle wherever, wherever you'd like. So as we mentioned, um, this candle is six and a half ounces. It has about 50 hours of burn time. The retail price on this candle, it's a little bit steep. Lafco is a luxury brand. It's $42 uh, for this candle. Um, and so it's about, you know, in the comparable price range of a, of a Nest candle. So the fragrance notes on this, on the box it says, Gardenia, Orange Blossom, and Ylang Ylang. If you read at the Lafco site, they also add in hints of pineapple, cedar, and green notes. And the green notes really come through. It creates this, um, I would almost call it a soft herbal fragrance with a light powdery floral. And it's a buttery, creamy kind of approach. But honestly, friends, to me, this doesn't smell like gardenia at all. Here in North Carolina, there are a lot of people who have gardenia bushes out. They're in full bloom right now. It um, just became, it's the you know, beginning of June, and in late May, they begin to bloom. And it's, gardenias have a unique 
fragrance. If you've ever smelled one, you, you know what I'm talking about. And so that unique gardenia fragrance, you know, rings in, in uh, my scent memory, and, and this isn't it. It is a very pleasant and lovely candle, it just isn't an authentic gardenia candle. So if you're looking for an authentic gardenia candle, this isn't it. If you're looking for a really pleasant green floral, this can be it. One of the things that I smell in this candle is calendula. So calendula is an herb. It is in some hand creams and sometimes in tea um, and chamomile. So of course chamomile is in tea and oftentimes you'll see it in sort of herbal remedies. And so chamomile and calendula really come through here. Um, Burt's Bees has a face wash that has calendula in it and that's, I get that smell here. This is fresh and clean. It's bright. It's lovely. It's a lovely, lovely candle. It just isn't gardenia. It probably moves more into that orange blossom without being citrusy with the green coming through. I don't get any of the pineapple and maybe that's just sort of a brightness that helps uh, create the overall notes or scent of this candle. Now let's talk a little bit about fragrance throw. You know, I was disappointed with the fragrance throw of the Duchess Peony. I think for a $40 candle, we should get the fragrance intensity and throw that you might experience from a Nest candle, considering they're in a similar price point in that luxury candle brand. In my experience, Lafco candles are sort of a step down from that. You know, if you have, not in quality of course, but it just in fragrance intensity and throw. Uh, so if Nest is like eight, nine, the candles that I've experienced from Nest, Blue Garden Bamboo, Grapefruit, um, the Ivy, there's a, something in Ivy, Tarragon and Ivy, all really big throwers, sending fragrance out to room. Even their tiny little votives pack a big punch. This is much more subtle, and I would put this in the realm of like, uh, you know, if Ness is on the eight and nine range of fragrance intensity, this is probably in like a three to five range. The other thing that's difficult for me that's a nuance of candle fragrance throw and intensity is the, I would call it almost the approachability of the fragrance. Like some fragrances are so overpowering, it's like will blow you out of the room that you're in. This is a candle that you can have burning and you can still sit beside. It will gently fragrance the air in a room and you can smell it wafting out, but it won't be so intense next to you that you really can't enjoy it when it's burning. Nests sometimes can get like almost too much. You can even enjoy them um, sitting next to them on cold and really get a, a really lovely fragrance experience. So for smaller rooms, powder rooms, bathrooms, bedrooms, this would be great. I think this is a very relaxing scent, that herbal calendula and uh, um, chamomile essence that I pull from this, um, make it feel like a Saturday nap cool down, close the shades, light a candle, just relax for a minute, like a, a almost not quite a spa feeling, um, but it could get there. Um, this would also be an elegant candle that you could have burning in your living room sort of after dinner. Uh, if you wanted to take folks into your living room and just enjoy it after dinner, reading a book. Um, and it's also great for summer. So I get this sort of floral, cooling summer breeze almost from it. It's not got any notes that you would affiliate, affiliate, associate <laughs> with like winter. It's not got, um, you know, any sort of like uh, rosemary or like any pine or, or those kinds of things. Even though they list cedar as one of the notes in there, it doesn't, it doesn't get there at all. I don't really smell the cedar um, in, in this particular fragrance. So overall, the candle has performed really well. It's burned evenly. It takes a long time for that solid soy uh, composition to um, create a wax pool. So this is a candle you'll want to light and enjoy for a really long time. It's an all evening kind of a candle, but you know, the fragrance will subtly uh, fill uh, the space and you won't even know that it's lit, which is dangerous. So be sure to blow them out and know sort of, I make a tour of my house at the end of the evening and make sure that all the candles are out. You wanna be sure of this because it's so subtle that you uh, might forget that it's actually burning and just sort of become nose blind to it because the fragrance is so subtle. Small rooms, it'll be great. Uh, a wonderful performer in a bathroom or powder room. Larger rooms, it probably will get lost. You might wanna have a few. You know, Nest does, a uh, Nest, Lafco does have a larger candle uh, that's a one wick and then they offer this same fragrance in a three wick candle. 
I might save up my money and try to see if the larger wax pool and the larger volume of candle will get a better performance in a, in a larger space and really get to where we want. Those larger candles come with a larger price tag and I'm not sure the cost scent value is there. These are unique, unique fragrances. I might try it out uh, if I see them on sale. Okay, speaking of on sale, y'all know that I have a newsletter. If you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be entered in to win candle stuff. I usually give away a candle or a uh, e-gift certificate uh, to a candle store. So, you know, sign up. I'll put a link to the newsletter below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this introduction to Lafco New York's Fresh Cut Gardenia Candle. We'll see you next time.